What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Josh and I'm here back with another haircut tutorial and in this tutorial as you guys can see we have a guy who's standing kinda on his hairline in the front but we're gonna fix that and we're gonna give him a mid fade so let's hop right into this video. So we're gonna start by setting in our ball line. For some reason um, the beginning of this video wasn't recorded so I already had set in my ball line on the opposite side but right here I'm just showing you how we're just setting it in not going up too high and dropping it slightly in the back because we're giving him a mid fade so I like to leave the back a little bit longer because once you lift the back up it starts to make it look like a high fade. So right after we set in our ball line I'm going to go in with my Babless cordless clippers with the lever all the way open and go up about a half an inch setting in my next guideline. So the first step in taking out this guideline is to go in with the lever all the way closed and I just start under the line and I flick up to the line just softening it a little bit but I'm not going up too high because all it's going to do is push the guideline up. So after I do this step I'm going to come back with the lever halfway closed and it will blend the line right out. Moving on to our next guideline, I'm going to go in with my lever all the way open with the number one guard on, going up about another half an inch. And one tip, like I always say, when you're setting in your guidelines, you want to make sure that the width of them are the same all the way around so it can be an even balanced fade. To take out this guideline, I'm going to do our fade and down process. So right after I set the guideline in with the number one guard with the lever all the way open, I close the lever all the way and I start under the line and flick up to the line. And this is fading down. Basically, it's just softening up the guideline for the next guard that you're going to come back with. Right after that, we're going to drop down to my half guard and I, and I start under the line and flick up to that same line. But the only difference is that in this part, you're going to start seeing it disappear. Moving on to my next step in this haircut, I'm going to grab the biggest guard that I'm going to use in this haircut, which is my number two guard with the lever all the way open. I'm going to be fading down from this process on. Um, right here, use, I'm using a number two in a, uh, you know, a C-scoop motion, blending the sides into the bulkiness, into the actual airflow, and we're going to be fading down from this point on. So right after I go in with my number two guard with the lever all the way open, I drop down and I close my number two guard all the way. I'm doing my fading down process. So from this point on, I'm just going to be dropping down in my guards. So right here, I just drop down to my one and a half guard with the lever all the way open, hitting that same dark line as you guys can see, starting under the line and flicking up to the line, just softening this line as we go down. So right here, I'm going to go in and do some clipper over comb work for some of the dark areas that I don't want to use guards in because it helps me control my blend more when I do clipper over comb. And right here, I'm just going to be doing a little bit more detail work around that one and a half and two area. Now that we're mostly done with the fade, I'm going to start on my beard. I'm going to comb it out to get the hair extended all the way so I can know what I'm fading and what I'm dealing with. And then we're going to go in and start our fading process, starting off with balding it. We're going to be taking his beard kind of low. He doesn't want it to um like blend high. He wants his fade to kind of fade right where the curve is on the beard. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. As you guys can see, that fade came out super dope and we're not even done with this haircut yet. But if you, have, if you guys haven't, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and leave a like on this video. And if you want to, leave a comment on what you think so far about this haircut.
now it's time to work the magic right here i'm uh prepping his lineup getting all those longer hairs that's like kind of leaning over getting them to lay down a little bit so i can start this lineup so right here i'm going to be applying some holding spray to get the hair to lock in so i can have more control over it and right after that we're going to go in using my babless gold effect skeleton trimmers starting this lineup giving it a clean line as you guys can see already is natural so we're just getting started When dealing with any client that has thinning on his hairline, it's all about control and understanding the hair and what you should do and not do. And you can make a lineup out of anything, to be honest. You know, it's all about the perception. So right here, we're gonna start on his beard lining and we're gonna make him look like a whole new person after this. Just sit back and watch. This video is sponsored by Easy Blade, and in this video, I'm going to be using my Easy Blade razor holder equipped with my Easy Blade razors, and I'm going to follow that along with my Easy Blade shaving oil. And this is going to create a smooth shave for me on the top of this beard, getting it crispy. And right here, I'm just applying it, and I'm going to follow it with the razor and just get it lined up super good. And I'm going to do this on both sides. Easy Blade products are very well made. I have no complaints with it. And the shaving oil, it just smells very good. And the razor, I have no problems when I have to do any razor work around the haircut. It always gets the job done. You guys can follow them on Instagram at Easy Blade Shaving Products. And their website is EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. I will have the links in my description. As you guys seen, we had my guy right with the natural lining, but right here we're going to be applying some enhancements just to make it blend a little bit better. Um, even though he's thinning, it's not that bad to the point where the enhancements will make it look fake because we were able to put a nice natural line on it. So right here, we're just going to be making his haircut, you know, go to another level. So right here we're going to be applying some holding spray on the hair fibers after we've after we've got it shaped up neatly and we're just going to lock it in to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere and then we're going to go through and do our last line up across we want to make sure that we got it super crispy as you guys can see we got it crispy and this haircut came out dope YouTube, this is the before. If you watched it up until this point, I really appreciate you guys. You watched me transform this haircut from start to finish and make something out of nothing. And you know, what else? What more is there to say? But YouTube, this is the cut. I hope you guys like it. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and make sure you guys leave a comment and hit that like button. And also, don't forget to turn that on that notification bell to stay up to date to more videos by me. It's your boy Josh, and I'm out.